Hi there, I'm Mike Dezorch, and I'm here to ask a question. Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 good in 2019? Now, Pandemic's Star Wars Battlefront 2 is held in extremely high regard by the gaming community, even to this day. And when Disney gave the license to make Star Wars games to Electronic Arts, we were rightly worried. And those worries were pretty justified. Uh, with Battlefront from DICE, we got a game that aesthetically nailed the look and feel of Star Wars, but just didn't live up to the Battlefront name. Then very soon after, they did Battlefront 2, and we were hoping, you know, maybe finally we will get a game that measures up to the name Battlefront, that measures up to Pandemic's original Battlefront 2. It sort of kind of did, but sort of kind of didn't at the same time. The worst thing that happened was the progression that was heavily, heavily tied into microtransactions and loot boxes. We're still living with the fallout of that. We still have governments that are looking into banning certain types of microtransactions and also governments declaring loot boxes gambling. So we're still very much living with the fallout of what happened with Battlefront 2 and it's still going on. We still have you know, legislatures that are looking into passing laws or, or changing existing laws in order to combat what they see as you know as game companies trying to get away with murder trying to you know foist gambling onto kids and getting away with it because of legal loopholes now since the controversy the progression that is heavily heavily dependent on microtransactions has been changed the microtransactions have been removed the loot boxes are now earned in game they cannot be purchased and since then, the game's actually gotten better. We've gotten a lot of content. We finally, finally got Clone Wars content, which is which was featured very heavily in the original Pandemic Battlefront 2. And the maps are just great. The dice nailed again the Star Wars aesthetics, the the sound, the the feel, the environments, the music everything they got that all perfect and now with capital supremacy they've got the gameplay down now so we have several new classes from the clone wars and a few new maps and the game mode has two teams fighting over various capture points and you can choose to spawn at different capture points that your team currently owns and the team that holds the capture points the longest progresses to the next phase of the game which is where you either storm the enemy ship or you defend your ship and if they're able to destroy your ship then they win the game or if you are able to successfully fight off the attack you go back down to the ground and you do the whole uh, game of capturing the capture points again and if you capture the capture points long enough to earn the higher score, you then get to attack the enemy team's ship. And you also get to switch back and forth which side you're on, whether you are with the CIS, the, the Separatists, or you're with the Republic. And you get to choose all the different uh, classes that are associated with either faction in Star Wars lore. And so this feels like, Capital Supremacy feels like the original Battlefront 2. It, it feels like it really does. This, this addition of being able to respawn in different parts of the map, the addition of the Droidica, uh, it, it feels like the classic Pandemic Battlefront 2. It really, really does. And that's a very, very good thing. So, is Star Wars Battlefront 2 in 2019 good? I'd say the game has gotten a lot better. Has it gotten good enough 
to justify buying the game now? I would say, yeah, it's definitely, definitely gotten better. I would say it's worthy of a purchase, worthy of you going out and actually paying money for this game, even though it's from EA and DICE. And I don't lightly say just go out and buy something from Electronic Arts. I don't think that they should be rewarded for doing bad things, but they're doing good things with this game. They don't have the bad progression anymore. They don't have the paid loot boxes anymore. They are giving us regular updates of content. We're getting more very soon. So we should encourage them to do the right thing. However, in recent news, we have learned that the boss of FIFA will be taking over for the Battlefield and Battlefront franchises. What will this mean for Star Wars Battlefront 2? We don't know. Uh, will we get the same kind of treatment that FIFA gets? Where FIFA is just nothing but a, a hell of microtransactions and loot boxes and progression heavily tied to or pay to win. Will we go back to that? after having such a great experience with the game in the way it is now. I really, really hope we don't go back to that because Battlefront 2 is good now. So I, I really hope that Electronic Arts does not let that happen. I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. Help make Zort Central great again by visiting the Gamers Bay store where you can find retro games, movies, and more. Also check out the Gamers Bay community on MeWe. MeWe is the only social media network that takes your privacy as seriously as you do. Links are in the video description.